How you doing everybody? Tim here from the Tactical Defender and today I have from VanQuest the Trident 20. This is the second generation obviously and uh, I mean it's such an amazing bag. The same great quality materials that went into their previous bag as well as all their other products they put back into this particular pack and made a handful, half a dozen or so improvements. One, a very important one, it's bigger. Not a lot bigger, but bigger. And the other thing is it has more padding. So it's going to be softer and better to carry heavy weight. And uh, we're going to do a quick rundown on everything. Let's look on the insides, discuss the outsides. And again, a lot of it is like the previous version, but it's a little bit bigger. There's more padding in it. There's some nice stuff that they added this into this that they didn't have earlier. And uh, well, let's take a look at this today. So I have the Trident 20. I do have some notes here because I don't want to leave anything out uh, when it comes to the new features on the new bag as opposed to the old. And unfortunately, I have very little or no experience with the older bag. So this bag is very new to me as it most likely is to most of you. 1,000 denier uh, cord door. It's the real stuff. They use the best of everything. Um, you do have YKK zippers with the inverted track like they always do grab handle neoprene covered grab handle i mean i just did something about grab handles with bags if it doesn't have a grab handle i'm probably not going to buy it and or use it for myself so let's just go over very quickly um the new features on the new trident 20 uh backpack so we have the first is the loop face molly air structure for molly accessories a morale patch attachment and i will show you that to you i'll show all this stuff in that uh, later in the video we also added a half inch to the width for better fit of the 15 inch macbook uh, or similar laptops this also added uh one liter to the overall capacity so from 20 point something liters we're now we're at 21.2 so it's larger and let's face it larger is better uh added a hook and loop closure for interior rip stop pockets top and bottom front compartments i mean there's something about when it comes to van quest their bags their packs uh their v packer compartments i mean you, you you like to be organized like i do and all this stuff is just nothing but compartments there's no excuse to be organized. And let's continue. Also, taller padded dividers. There's now three included. It says now included. I'm guessing. Remember, I don't have experience with the last one. I'm guessing before they were not included. Maybe they were. Maybe they weren't. Um, if you have experience with the previous one, let me know down below if they were included. We also have a, uh, a slip pocket on exterior of side admin compartment. More pockets, pockets, compartments. You just can't have enough of those. Uh, new denser padding for shoulder strap, backside for added comfort. You know what I know, whether it's an EDC bag or hiking, maybe it's a camera bag, maybe it's a diaper bag. I have two little boys, one still in diapers. You're out, you're out with your family or you're out on a hike, you have stuff in the bag. If there's something in there digging into your back or the, or the weight in the bag, it shifts it's going to ruin your afternoon, your morning, your day. Well, with your family, going to the zoo, you're going on a hike. Uh, to be able to organize your gear, your stuff inside, again, no matter what it is, will just make everything that much better. When your gear inside is shifting and moving, it just, it literally will take a toll on your body throughout the whole day.
First, let's start on the very bottom. You can see here roughly how wide it is. We do have two rows of PALS webbing and two accessory loops right there. So you can hook, you know, anything you want to those. You want to put a blanket, a sleeping bag, a small one person tent. You have plenty of lashing points to strap that stuff to. And again, as always, the sewing is absolutely flawless on these packs. I mean, really strong. So we have here the front of the pack. They do have a row of PALS webbing here. Again, more lashing po uh, spots to put more accessories on. And then we have the hook and loop. This is the Molly Air. It is 1000 Denia Cordura and it is uh, uh, sealed and also sewn. It is Velcro or, or hook and loop if you will. You can put morale patches, anything you want. But it's also a spot to hang pouches off of because of the, uh, the Molly Air. We have the VanQuest logo. We have, again, more PALS webbing. You have a button here. Sort of a security feature because then these can't get pushed down. And here we have, as you can see here throughout the bag, as always, lockable everywhere. You have lockable zipper, YKK zippers. And their, their usual knotted uh, paracord pulls. Little device here. Open that up. And this opens. And then you have, we'll remove that. You have the very usual, I, th I believe it's 220 denier ripstop material on the inside. And it is there the VanQuest orange there, high-vis orange, so you can see inside the bag and look around and see, you know, reach in. And it's it's a good size. It's I mean, I have big hands. It is a very good size. All right. And then up here at the top of the bag, you can see we have a pouch, an accessory pouch. Another hook and loop field. We do have the stretch cord, paracord, shock cord. It does have a lock on there. You can put something behind there if you wish. We have these zippers, and this zippers. I mean, that's a that's a big pocket too. I mean, that is really is a big pocket. Same high vis material on the inside. You got a pocket there, Velcro closed. You have a pocket in the back that does not close, it's just an, an open pocket, dump pocket. And we have some elastic keeper there to put more stuff underneath. Anything you want, you want to put some first aid stuff in there. Um, a little admin pouch, it, very nice. Now, before we go to the sides of the bag and then inside, I want to show you these straps. But we do have some PALS webbing on here. You have the, uh, the usual VanQuest buckles. I mean, great. You can put all kinds of stuff on there. You have a couple keepers here. You got one there, one there. It does have also... A sternum strap with a whistle. The whistle does work. I mean, and they are very comfortably padded. You can see back here. Now there is a board in here. I do believe I haven't pulled it out, but it's it's. I mean, you can feel it. It's it's not. It's strong. It really is. Up to the top, you see the attack. I mean, look at that sewing. We have the Cordura, so you know it's the real stuff. And let's come down here to the waist belt. Now, you know me, you know I'm not into waist belts. I've explained before why, but you do have one. And it does, they do work. They really do work. You do have the VanQuest buckle here. 
Now, remember, if you just squeeze those, it's not going to come undone. You have to push that first and then those. Little extra added feature. Now, and you do, this is also padded where the waist belt goes behind. And it, there is hook and loop in there because this can't come off, which I just, I absolutely love that feature because I don't use them. If I can't fold it, put it away somewhere, or in this case, remove it completely, that can make or break a bag because I don't use this and I don't want it just hanging around. I like that feature that they did. I really do. Um, let's go to the top of the bag first. And you can see here, uh, you know, not a lot up top, but do have a very nice neoprene, very strong grab handle. Good song. You have a port right there for your water bladder it does hold a water bladder or headphones possibly and the same on the other side now we're going to go to one side of the bag now first you do have one two three very strong well made sewn into the bag pals loops and then you have a row of pals webbing here you got to have that. This is actually how the bag opens. Here's the inverted zipper there. I really like how they do that with their zipper. Keeps uh, dust, some water out. It's just, it's better than having them the, the regular way, right? We do have a sleeve that goes the whole length of the bag, uh, the, the whole length of the pocket. Nice sleeve. You can put, you know, any number of things down there. A knife, uh, a saw. You can put a saw, a hatchet. You can kind of stick the handle down in there and then lash it up here somewhere. And uh, apologize, I'm doing this with, with uh, one hand. So, and here is your side admin pouch. I mean, I really like this. And it opens up. Look at that. It opens up all the way. You have the 220D ripstop, high, vis, uh, high visibility material on the inside. You do have a key keeper here, accessory keeper right there. And you have one, two, three pockets. Obviously, this one being the smaller of the three. And then over here, you have uh, some pens. You can put pens, markers, EpiPen, things of that nature there. But I mean, it's such a nice, I mean, when I say like this bag is great for EDC, it really is. You can put all your, you can put a flashlight in there, maybe some, a small first aid kit in one of these. So on this side of the bag, you do have the one, two, three loops, uh, accessory loops to put different things to. You can attach other bags to it, but then you have your, your pals webbing on the side to attach another pouch, but you don't get a pocket on this side like you do on the other side. What you do have is, uh, you do have this, you undo that, and when you open up the bag, and it really kind of opens up, and there is a reason for that. So you can take the bag off one shoulder, just zip from there to there, without having to put the bag down, down on the ground, if you're worried about ticks like I am. And there you go inside the bag. Now, as I showed you on the other side, this, this zipper here does not go all the way down. Just halfway on the back. And here we have the inside. It is padded. You do have the 220 ripstop material on the inside. And you do have three dividers. I'm just using two at the moment just to demonstrate them. These are Velcro. They do move. You can put them anywhere you want or take them out completely. I do have a pouch here, see, and I still have room up there. I mean, look at that hook and loop field inside. You can, there's really a lot you can do with this. I have another pouch here, and then a larger pouch. I mean, this is not a small pouch that is on the bottom. There really are so many things. Uh, possibilities you can do with this now you have a, a a pocket there you have another one on this side a much again i apologize i'm using one hand here a huge pocket there 
And then on the back side, you undo that. And this is where you can put your up to a 15 inch, I believe, MacBook Pro or any other laptop, things of that nature, roughly up to 15 inches. And this here is what the dividers look like. You got hook and loop so you can put them really anywhere you want inside the bag. I mean, such a nice bag. I mean, look how organized you can really make this. And, and, and you know, I, this isn't perfect. I just kind of threw this all together. I mean, the sewing is just phenomenal. It really is. Now we start on the side with just the zipper. This is the side of the bag without the pouch. In the back of the bag, you have a zipper, another YKK zipper. Goes from the top of the bag to the bottom. And this is your water bladder area. Large hook and loop filled in there. You can put accessories that are held on by hook and loop. You could put papers in there, files, anything like that, and they will be protected. There is a, I almost say, piece of plastic, like a, a board, backboard sewn in here for you. Keep your back nice and, I mean, that it's very well padded. I have always said that, in my opinion, there's a lot of really good companies out there. There are. And there's some not so good companies. You pretty much get what you pay for, right? I always felt that VanQuest, since I've been introduced to them, that VanQuest is, is at the top of that list, in my opinion anyway. They're at the top of that backpack, V-packer, man bag, man purse list. And I do believe that. And somebody, one of my subscribers in one of my last videos said, uh, one of my last VanQuest videos said that to them, um, VanQuest isn't a, at the top of that list. They're actually in a class all their own. And there's a lot of truth to that. There really is. They really are in a class all their own. It is hard to compare their packs with a similar pack because the features are just so different. Not a little bit, I mean very, very different. Anyway, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. <coughs> Excuse me, I will have links in the box below to this particular product. Uh, go check them out. And um, it's such a great, if you're thinking about getting this pack, Get it. You're not going to be disappointed. It is a little small on me. Remember, I'm just under 5'11". I'm 230 pounds roughly, uh, maybe a little bit less than that. I do require a larger backpack when I'm going out doing my thing. As an EDC bag, it's perfect. Literally flawless. And it does come in some very nice colors. Uh, as a hiking pack, for me, my needs are a little small your needs maybe not you're probably thinner i'm guessing you are thinner small than myself great hiking pack um, camera bag you name it uh, go to the beach go out with your family the bag is just perfect okay thank you for watching this video be well stay safe information in the box below where you can buy this bag at vanquest and uh, we'll talk soon okay